Hello my fellow dweebs and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are wondering why the title of this video is Solar Opposites Episode 6 and not Solar Opposites Episode 5, I sat down, watched Episode 5 of Solar Opposites, did my reaction, did my little thing, got up to turn the video off and realized I had never turned it on. I've been making YouTube videos for almost four years and that right there has been my worst nightmare that I've managed to avoid. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm honestly so embarrassed. I considered like, maybe I will just film the episode again and do a not blind reaction to it. But I was like, oh, that just feels weird. So yeah, I just, there's, there's gonna not be a reaction to episode five and I'm really sorry. I wrote down some of my thoughts from the episode so I can at least go over those with you guys. The thing that I'm most upset I lost my reaction to was the Benny Hanna girl getting pushed into the boohoo hole. I was shook. I couldn't believe that that happened. Also, Enrique betrayed them because of the death of his son. That whole scene was wild. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bummed that I lost my reaction to that. Other than that, it was just a lot of me laughing <laughs> as per usual. I thought Terry and Corvo's arc of going back to school was really funny. Terry especially was cracking me up because he was just treating college like his social hour, which was basically me when I was in school. But we are moving onward and upward. Let's get watching episode six. This episode is called The Patricia Device and let's get watching. Oh, here we go. The poor bird. He's hitting so many birds. Oh, There's they couldn't even blue. be He's bothered to oh, clean up the ostrich. What is that? It looks amazing. Ruth is gonna come be on, pissed. On. Oh man, I didn't realize they would be as heavy as they are ticks. <laughs> oh, Corpo, Terry looks like a Gary. Uh, I, I yeah. definitely understand. It's an outside. Oh, they the don't get it at all. Oh, my favorite biddies are ticks. It's a joke sign for my man cave. <laughs> What's a man cave? Well, here it is. This is where I can go and just get away from it all. <laughs> the man is always right. Sports are life. Check out the boondocks <laughs> and the emotion. These are all new to me. I don't want to be in violation of any rules. Here's the best part. Are you ready oh, for me to Corvo's blow so your sweet. mind? Oh, my God. <laughs> God damn it. Please, can we have a man cave? Yes. What? Oh, really? Oh, man, you should have held out. I was going to offer to suck Kevin your... Kevin is so confident and happy. There must be so much work done. Imagine how great our lives would be if we could be this confident. <laughs> Did you notice that the football's actually- Oh, are they imagining the it? They're the cutest things I've ever seen. This semester, your final grade depends on proof that you fought the patriarchy. I want a full report on a glass ceiling you tried to shatter by next Friday. <gasps> what does that even mean? Uh, Miss Perez, what, what do the boys have to do? I don't care. The boys can just draw a picture of a lightsaber or something. You might as well learn now that life is just easier for you. Don't forget to rate and follow <laughs> on the teacher. <laughs> When I chose to be a girl, I thought it meant I'd get the better McDonald's toys. Now I have to talk about something. I told you not to pick female. Remember, I tried to explain that to you the minute I chose to be a man and became better at explaining things. I just need to find a glass ceiling and shatter the crap out of it. Whoa, what's going on in here? Welcome to our man cave. Man cave! Uh, 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 there are rules. Please read and strictly abide by all of the man cave. Fun. Man only? <laughs> uh, whoa, 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 wait. Are you guys doing a gender thing too? What? No. We're doing a man cave thing. What's this? Diggle bitch. No, 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 no. <laughs> Everybody just sit back, grab a cold one, and let the awesomeness of the man cave wash over. A cold over. one. Oh, Any they second. hate it. have played on high school football teams for years. You just can't be the kicker because we already went to the state Supreme Court so a dog could be kicker. Damn, <laughs> Denver, good boy! I did not see that coming. See, I don't get it. It's exactly the same. Computer, analyze nitrogen levels and- Can you please come watch your son blow out his candles? Everyone is going to- need a nagging wife. For like a whole year. Kevin, I should have married Omri. Terry, <laughs> you <laughs> Oh, that we need to throw away more birthday parties? <laughs> the best part of being in a man cave, Terry, is someone being irritated that you're in a man cave. But I don't want to take turns in here. Neither do I. Which means we'll have to build a robot that hates us being in the man cave. Yeah. Oh. The Patricia device. She's programmed to hate the man cave. <gasps> Corvo. Terry. 
pupa. I hope you don't plan to spend all day. Somebody's in taking care of the pupa finally. So expensive. What? Five thousand dollars. We've been asking for a girl to join our team for years. Oh, the football guys will finally stop mocking us. No, come on. I need this to be a struggle. Chat. We got a girl team. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I found my glass ceiling and fucking shattered it and saved most of a family. Well, I'm the first woman to manage my <laughs> jazz. Why do you keep saying most of a family? Because it's <laughs> right? just the two dogs. <laughs> oh, yummy lads, come here. I already said I wasn't touching gender stuff. I'm just out of ideas. You know what I do when I'm out of ideas? Cocaine. Yummy lads, I, mean, I, I think it's like a probably... Million oh. ideas at once. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, I got it. Pants that fly but are also dogs. Mm. Well, I do love cocaine. She is not offended at all. Oh, there she goes. I should make a glass ceiling myself. What's with all the dirty dishes, Corvo? I left them here. Dumb for face. See that? <laughs> it's called a dishwasher. And this is how you turn it on. <gasps> Ooh. Now that's at least one thing you can finally learn to turn on. Not that it matters since you're an alien who has no dick. <laughs> my mom was right. What am I supposed to do with that? You're a perfect organism. Does My he product. love it? <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> and the only time I can organism is when I'm watching Outlander. You're making me feel smaller and less of a man. I love I boost my shoulder. Yeah, a oh, little honey, bit. Let me take care of that for you. One, two. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Owie. Just oh. A little, you were a really brave little man just then. I'm so proud of you. I'm baking cookies in here. Does baby want to lick my spoon? Mm. Mm. No. <laughs> What's this feeling I'm feeling? I'm, I'm very shameful. You don't know how to self scrutinize. <laughs> I've been hanging out with Patricia. She makes me feel something I've never felt before. Me too. Emasculated. Nurtured. I love the way she can just cut right through me with a really <laughs> tightly wound zinger. I've never been so wonderfully beta. Oh, she wipes my mouth with a wet wipe and treats me like a baby. It's so comfortable and nurturing. <laughs> like I never had him on Funny, you never ride me over. Oh. In love, Mick. <laughs> Dig old fix. Fix, 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 fix. Oh no, she doesn't know what to do. <gasps> oh! Dig old Bix. I get it now. You do? W what does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's destroying all the man caves <laughs> to Katy Perry. Oh, shame. Oh, no. Please stop. Second door on the left. <laughs> Oh, can't we all just get along, you guys? This is your club? Yep, sorry, but this isn't a boy club after all. You don't want to join. We're here in protest to speak up for all the women who are too weak to speak for themselves. <laughs> but I made this club you to Watch it. How messed up it is that discriminated against <laughs> people based on their gender. Oh, uh, yeah, I was just about to say that. She'll slice us in half with her laser blades. And whose fault is that? Uh huh? Uh, I don't know what to do. Wait, if she hates oh, the man no. cave, we need to lure her to the biggest, stupidest man cave we can find. I know just the place. <laughs> Listen, I love Dave and Buster's, so I don't even care. Game for the ring. How many tickets for all your sticky hands? I don't know, but like a million? Hey, those come out of the tickets. The they teacher. Me. You've got to help me. What the fuck are you talking about? I couldn't move us women forward, Miss Perez. Please don't give me an ass. I didn't even realize you were a girl. I thought you were going to draw Count Dooku's lightsaber. What? But <laughs> I don't know. You're green and your mouth extends past the boundaries of your face. Patricia, stop. Gender, gender not found. That's because <laughs> I'm an alien plant. It took me all this time to realize that's okay. I can do whatever I want. So can you. I don't have to kill men. I could be killing anyone I want. No matter what gender, <laughs> I could kill everyone. <laughs> not today. <laughs> Sorry, but I have to turn you off. You turn me off every day when <laughs> you take off your shirt. What's wrong, Corvo? W why'd you stop? <laughs> I can't deactivate her, Terry. That's I mean. A my heart. From now on, you'll live in this shipping container. Do we really have to get rid of her? Maybe we can keep her around like a feminist icon. Your dress is too short. Boys will think you're a slut. You're not my real mom. Shut up. Oh. Patricia, it's time to get in the container. Out of here with that. I didn't try to make him look like Ted Cruz. It just happens with these things. Hello. <laughs> I thought I threw that out. Why are you making that face? I'm not making a face. God, you're annoying. Could you be more nasal? A real man wouldn't let an alien bury him in a shipping container. How he and once again, no one's looking out for it. <gasps> the way he stands off crooked. That pupa. 
Yeah, you weren't around. What, what were you doing this whole time? I no, I was not. Hundreds of koalas out of the zoo and then spent a ton of time rounding them all up. The zoo has the capacity to house hundreds? Oh, koalas? yeah, there was a koala hanging out in the fight scene. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so how did your gender-based stories turn out? Oh, uh, good. Yeah, I mean, I think we covered every angle and pretty much solved it, so... Yeah, I think everyone will be very happy with what we did. Well, I'm glad you survived, because <laughs> I don't think there's a more controversial topic we could have dealt with. Considering my subscriber base is 91% men, I'm not really sure what to say <laughs> as far as the review goes. <laughs> this episode was right. It's, um, a little bit of a touchy subject. Yeah, this episode definitely warranted more cringe laughing than it did hysterical laughing <laughs> compared to my usual reactions, but I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for and they nailed it. I am curious whenever I go back to edit, whether I'll be able to see little moments with koalas in them because I did notice when Patricia was tearing up the town, there is a specific part that I saw a koala and I just didn't really think much of it. I don't know if it's because of the ostrich at the beginning. I was like, oh, koala, that's kind of random. But I bet there are more parts that showcase Yummy Lack's arc in this episode. He said it was all over the news. Didn't you guys see it? So I wonder if at a certain point they were showing it on the television in the background. I'm looking forward to going back through and seeing if I can't identify more of those moments. I also was just so relieved for once to have somebody looking out for the pupa. Patricia, if anything, you will be missed for that. I think my favorite part about this episode is the fact that it really played on earth norms versus the aliens understanding of them from Terry and Corvo not understanding the tiggled bitty sign and the mank ave. I think after watching episode one I said during my review that I was wondering if that was going to be something that was going to be played into more throughout the course of the show and this episode definitely proved that. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As always thank you so much for watching and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you would like access to full-length reactions early release to my videos and a whole bunch of other fun stuff check out my patreon page patreon.com slash alicia dweeb and i will see you dweebs